Zarkizer. Hey guys, it's your boy Zarkizer, and today I'm gonna give a quick review on the new 2021 Yamaha YZF-R1. The R1 is Yamaha's ultimate super sport motorcycle. It's a serious bike for experienced riders, and it's a very popular sport bike around the world. This bike was built for the racetrack, but can also be used for cruising around town and carving out twisty roads. The R1 is very aerodynamic and has a top speed of 299 kilometers an hour. For 2021, this premium superbike comes with a price tag of $17,400 and features next generation R-series styling, high-end electronics, and a high-performance cross-plane engine. There's a lot to learn about this bike, but before we get into that, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. You can also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content and definitely check out my online store where you could buy some cool motorcycle accessories and apparel. So yeah, let's get right back into it. The new 2021 Yamaha YZF-R1 comes available in two color options, which are Yamaha Racing Blue and Metallic Black. This bike looks absolutely amazing. It has a sleek aerodynamic bodywork with an aggressive super sport design. The R1 has full fairings, a titanium exhaust system, and LED lights all around, with the front turn signals being integrated into the rear view mirrors. This bike also comes with a 12 volt auxiliary DC connector and an immobilizer ignition system to help reduce the risk of theft. The YZF R1 complies with Euro 5 emission standards, which means it's clean and also fuel efficient. This bike is powered by a 998cc liquid cooled four stroke inline four cylinder engine that puts out 200 horsepower and 113 newton meters of torque. The R1 comes mated to a six speed transmission gearbox with a quick shifter and also features a slipper clutch and ride by wire throttle system. The R1 weighs 448 pounds and has a compact wheelbase of 55.3 inches. It has a 33.7 inch seat height and a ground clearance of 5.1 inches. This bike has a fuel tank capacity of 4.5 gallons and a fuel economy of 33 miles per gallon, providing an approximate riding range of 148 miles. The YZF R1 sits on 17 inch 10 spoke magnesium racing wheels equipped with Bridgestone RS11 tubeless tires for excellent durability and grip. This bike comes with a powerful track focused braking system that includes dual channel ABS. At the front are two 320mm hydraulic disc brakes gripped by four piston calipers and at the back is a single 220mm disc brake with a single piston caliper. The R1 comes equipped with a fully digital 4.2 inch full color TFT display that shows all the information you need, such as a clock, speedometer, tachometer, odometer, gear position indicator, upshift indicator, lap timer, and much more. The digital display features all the brightness adjustment and also two screen modes, which are street and track. The R1 has outstanding track-focused handling thanks to its strong and lightweight chassis. This bike has a compact aluminum delta box frame, aluminum double-sided swing arm, and a detachable magnesium subframe. The suspension system on this bike is handled by a fully adjustable 43mm inverted KYB fork up front that provides 4.7 inches of front suspension travel. And at the back is a fully adjustable KYB monoshock that provides 4.7 inches of rear suspension travel. The ergonomics on the YZF R1 are super sporty. This bike demands an aggressive riding position with a fearless attitude. For safe rides, the R1 comes equipped with a 6-axis IMU that helps facilitate a host of electronic rider aids, such as traction control, slide control, lift control, launch control, engine brake management, and power modes. So yeah, that's about it for the new 2021 Yamaha YZF R1. Be sure to leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about the bike. Do you like the new style and design? Do you think the R1 is the ultimate super sport motorcycle? Let me know your thoughts down below. I respond to every comment, so definitely let me know down below in the comment section. Also, if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel for more daily motorcycle news and reviews. You can also give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And also follow me on Instagram where I post daily motorcycle content. Alright, that's it for now now guys see you tomorrow peace
Tsar Kaiser. <laughs>